In this lesson, we're going to see how to go about transferring a Time Machine backup to a new drive. I just had a new 8TB Seagate Expansion USB drive delivered. This is going to replace the current 4TB Time Machine drive. Now I could just attach the new drive and have it start backing up as a new Time Machine backup. But I want to retain the backups that are already on the 4TB drive that go back to October of 2018, about seven months. So let's plug the new 8TB drive in. It pops up with its default name. Hit Command I with it selected to bring up the Get Info window. Here we can see that its capacity is indeed 8TB, but that it's currently formatted as Windows NT or NTFS. I'm going to want to change this by reformatting the drive using Disk Utility. From Disk Utility, go to the Partition button here, and with the 8TB Seagate Expansion Drive selected, I'm going to give it a new name, and then choose a new format. For a Time Machine Backup Drive, macOS Extended Journal is the best option. Apple file system is not yet fully supported by Time Machine. Click Apply, and this drive is erased and reformatted. This leaves us with a completely empty drive. Next, I'm going to head back to the Get Info window and make sure that Ignore Ownership on this volume is checked down here. I'm also going to give both of the main user accounts on this Mac read and write privileges. Now I want to turn off Time Machine Automatic Backups. Then we need to copy the backup.backups database folder from the current Time Machine Backup drive into the new 8TB drive. This is going to take several hours to complete because the backups folder is almost three and a half terabytes in size. Another way to do this is to clone the Time Machine drive using an app like SuperDuper, which we'll talk about more later on. In this setup, I'll be cloning the entire four terabyte Time Machine backup drive into the eight terabyte drive. Every file will be copied. This is the method I ended up using for this transfer because it took so long, a few days total. Once it's completed, the backup database folder on the new 8TB drive should have the same set of folders as the 4TB drive does. In this case, the folders go back to October. Back in Time Machine Preferences, select the 8TB drive as a new Time Machine backup. From here, we can choose to use both of these backup drives or replace the 4TB drive with the 8, which is what I want to do. Make sure the backup automatically box is checked and your Time Machine backups will begin again on the new drive. 